So, Tony, coming back to the employees, coming back, how clued up do you think the ordinary South African worker is on what his rights are with regard to his debt? Is it something that still, to this day and age, intimidates and scares people? Absolutely. I think once there's a court order against people and the garnishee is given effect to at the company, workers just generally pay and they don't know what the effect of it is. The deductions just keep happening. They're not even keeping track on it. It's only when those amounts start exceeding what they're able to survive on, then it becomes an issue and it becomes all of our problem. So I'd agree we've got to find ways to intervene before it becomes a crisis, including ensuring that people are clue up as to what their rights are in respect to garnishy orders and the costs that are charged to them. Not just even garnishy orders, but everything with regard to debt is so intimidating, it is so jargonized, and it scares people, and people don't seem to know what their options are. People don't seem to realize that there could be options with regard to their debt. So I think people, employers, should also be coming to the party, perhaps be more amenable to employee wellness um, measures to take place. Employee education needs to take place. How much of a problem, not on a social level, but on a workers' level, how much of a problem does over-indebtedness play in the role of a worker and in the structure of everyday working life in South Africa? Well, I think our assessment is that people, the selling of debt to people has become a major industry in its own. And so all the lawyers who profit here out of it and all of the rest of the system just is comfortable with the way events are at the moment. But clearly this adds a huge impact on workers and employees. And it's also going to spill over onto the employers. So it's got to be a new set of regulations and a new solution found. Part of that includes some kind of specialized uh, knowledge at the company where the employer has capacity to guide the employees in respect of what happens. The unions have to play a greater role in making sure their members are aware of debt management and debt issues generally. And then we've got to see a change in the regulations that stops this wanton sale of debt to people that's really causing a bubble in the economy that's going to that's cause going difficulties to for all of us.